in this question, we are given two tangents. So they've told us that PR is a tangent. And then we've also been told that PQ is a tangent. Now I'm just reading to see if there's any other information. No, all the other information is not really necessary. Although these two lines here are parallel. So just remember that those are also going to be parallel. They've also told us to let R2 equal to X, but here we can see that that's X already. The first question asks us to prove that PTRQ is a cyclic quadrilateral. Now let's quickly do a summary on how to prove that something is a cyclic quadrilateral. So there are three main ways. So let's draw a quick cyclic quadrilateral, something like that. The first way is to see if the opposite angles add up to 180 degrees. The second way is to look at the external angle and that external angle should be the same as the opposite interior. The third way is if you have more of like a bow tie kind of shape. And if they want to know if if they want to know if that black shape is a cyclic quadrilateral and you can sort of see some bow ties, then if you can prove that the bow tie if those two angles are the same, or if those two angles are the same, then it is also a cyclic quadrilateral. And so those are the different things we need to look out for. So what I always tell my students to do is the following. If you can see in number one and two, the, there are no lines going across. Can you see there's no lines going across like that? then you can either look for option number one or option number two. If you can see that there are lines going across, then it might be option number three. So if we look at the cyclic quadrilateral, we can definitely see that there are lines going across. So it could be number three, but it could also be option one or two. What I want us to do is to look at the tangent PR. Then I want us to look at the chord AR and then let's look at the angle in between those. So that would be angle X. Now we can use the tan chord theorem by putting our finger on the two edges of the chord and letting our fingers come together. Now some of you might have said, oh, let's go this way. And then you would have gone to this point. But the tan chord theorem only works inside the circle. So we would go this way instead. So to there and to there. So what this now means is that the angle Q2 will be equal to X and that's simply because of tan chord theorem. Then what we should do is look at these parallel lines and I want you to be able to identify that there is an alternating angle with those parallel lines and that would mean that this angle must be the same as this angle. So we can say that angle R2 is equal to angle P2 and both of those are then equal to X and that's because of alternating angles and that's because the line PT is parallel to AR. And now all of a sudden in that pink cyclic quadrilateral we can see that there is a bow tie happening where those two angles are the same. And so we found a bow tie and we found out that these two are the same and so that means that this is a cyclic quadrilateral. So we would then say therefore PT R Q equals cyclic quad. Now the reason is the converse, because we're using the opposite, the converse of um, angles in the same segment. Okay, and then there we've done it, guys. So remember, it would either be option number one, two, or three, but when you've got lines going across, then very often it becomes a bow tie kind of question. 6.2, it is further given that QA is equal to RA. So QA is equal to RA. Now because those two sides are the same, we can therefore see that it's an isosceles triangle. So we can also say that R3 will be equal to X. So of course we'll give a reason for that. So we'll say that R3 is equal to X and we'll say angles opposite equal sides. And so now they want us to prove that angle S, which is up here, is equal to X. What we could do is have a look at this triangle and, and then we could easily work out angle R because this is a straight line over here. And so we could see that angle R, or let's rather say PRS, 
will be 180 minus x minus x and that's just because of angles on a straight line and so what we can then say is that angle PRS will be 180 minus 2x so now we can go work out angle S by saying that angle S will be the same as 180 minus angle P2 minus PRS and that's also because of some angles triangle and so angle S will be 180 minus X minus now remember to use a bracket here and what you would find is that angle S is going to be equal to X and that's exactly what they wanted us to prove the next question for five marks wants us to prove that PQ is the same as RS now that looks really weird because it's not even like they're part of the same triangle so we can't say something like isosceles and so what we can see is that Q1 is in between the tangent and the chord so we can use the tan chord theorem so take your finger and put it at the edges of the two of, of the chord and then make those two circles come together at a specific place so they can come together over there and over there so they come together at R3 and so we can say that Q1 will be the same as angle R3 and that's because of the tan chord theorem and so that means that Q1 is also going to be equal to X so if we now look at the triangle PQR we should now identify that that is actually an isosceles triangle because this base angle is 2x and this base angle is 2x so we can now say that triangle we don't even have to say that it's isosceles sorry we can say that because it's an isosceles we can say that QP is going to be equal to PR and that's because of those are the sides opposite equal angles but now if those two are the same we should also be able to see that in this triangle that is also isosceles because these two angles are the same so that means that PR must be the same as RS because they are sides opposite equal angles so check this out QP was equal to PR but PR is equal to RS therefore we can say that QP must be equal to RS QP must be the same as RS and though it's those two over there all right so I hope that that made sense now we're going to do the last question for six marks they want us to prove that PTS is a tangent to circle TAR so there I've gone and drawn the triangle that they are talking about where they want us to prove that this tangent over here or that this is a tangent to the pink circle so there are two ways that this could go it's usually going to be the tan chord theorem so let's say let's pretend that this is a tangent then I want you to choose a chord in the pink circle then choose the angle between the tangent and the chord which would be this one over here so T1 so if that was a tangent then what would T1 have to be the same as see if you can use the tan chord theorem in that pink circle and see what would T1 have to be the same as well to do that you put your finger on the two edges of the chord and you make those two circles come together can you see that they will come together at R1 and R2 so if we can prove that those two angles are the same then we can say that it's a tangent okay the other way around would be the following we will choose a different chord in that circle so I've now chosen the chord TR now you need to look for the angle in between the tangent and the chord that would be T3 now we need to see what angle would that have to be the same as for that to be a tangent so you put your finger on the two edges of the chord and you let those two circles come together so that would come together 
over here and here. So it would have to be at A2. So if you can prove that A2 is the same as T3, then it will also be a tangent. So I'm not quite sure which one it's going to be yet, but let's have a look. So after sitting with this one for quite a bit of time, I think we finally have something here. Remember the cyclic quad we found earlier? Well, by using that cyclic quad, we can easily work out the angle of T3. Because T3 is the exterior angle of that cyclic quad, and so we can say that angle T3 will be equal to 2x, and the reason for that will be exterior angle of a cyclic quad. And so T3 is equal to 2x. Now, if we look in triangle ARQ, we will be able to work out angle A2. Now, you could use exterior angle if you wanted to, but I'm going to use the longer approach because I know more students are comfortable with that. So I'm going to calculate A1 by saying A1 is equal to 180 minus x minus x. And that's just because of angles in triangle. Then we can say that A1 is equal to 180 minus 2x. Then we could work out angle A2 by saying 180 minus 180 minus 2x because of angles on a straight line. And so we would find out that A2 is equal to 2x. A2 will be 2x. And so now we have done it, guys. We can see now that this angle is the same as this angle. Remember we said earlier that that could be a tan chord. And so because those angles are now the same, we can say, therefore, PTS is a tangent. And that's because of converse tan chord theorem.